G'day, g'day, and welcome to Outback Vaping. So today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, got asked if I could do an out-of-the-box review, so that's what I'm going to do, because I've uh, got a couple of you guys actually wanted to see this. So, top side, here we go. Packaging. I'm actually going to go over the packaging today, um, only because this one is different. First of all, from Dove Pro, the top side, and oop, uh, there we go, can we get it? TVC, the Vapor Chronicles. So, take the paper off. Don't need that anymore. This is why it's different. See the four holes? Uh, what are we doing? Did it? <laughs> Still got the mod in there, but that's the basic concept. So, there you go. Addy stand. Fucking river idea, I reckon. Save on packaging. Um, one thing I will say straight off the bat, though, is that comes separate, not in the packaging. So, Make sure you look in the bottom of your bag and don't accidentally throw it out. Get into that a bit more maybe after. Anyway, let's open her up. Now, straight off the bat, oh, he's going to be able to see it. No, you just can't. It's got a slight scuff mark just along the top of that edge. First thing I noticed, as soon as I opened it, slight scuff mark. Now, I did take this out the box just to wash the silicon bottle and then put it all back in. That's why it wasn't still in the plastic wrap. But can you? But it does come off straight away. Just wipe it with your finger. And it is. See the lines? So every time you put the lid back on and slide it off, You've got your mod. Oh, there you go. If you've got your mod in there. Oh, take it out. See if we can find an angle where you guys can see it. Uh, see? Oh, so hard to see because of that light. Let's see if I can block that light a bit. There you go. See the scuff line on it? See how it's there? No, just give it a wipe. See, gone. Alright, anyway. Straight off the bat. Decent weight to it. Nice and clicky button. Silicon bottle's a little bit stiffer than most. Um, it's not... It's not like a plastic bottle, but it's not like most other silicon bottles. You can act, you can definitely feel that you're squeezing it. That's for sure. Um, what else we got here? Insulator around the 510. Nice little uh, add-on there. Do like the idea of that. It sits nice and flush. Uh, battery door first. Right. A little bit of a rattle in it. It's actually quite loose, really. Not too sure if I like that. See your connection? Yeah, negative connection. The mounting pins come all the way through to the base. I'm not too sure how I feel about that, whether that's something so is that if something goes wrong you can pop it out and replace it later, or, yeah, I'm just not too sure about that. I've got three exposed contacts at all times, basically. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
these guys see, once again we'll block out a bit of that light, see that white lines up at, there you go, see it? Don't think they quite f got the paint prop. didn't get the paint properly or it's a little bit rough on them spots too so a little bit raised so hopefully that doesn't damage me battery wraps can't feel any nicks or anything though that's just a little bit raised compared to the rest so door is extremely thin too have a look at that so, anyway, shut the bottle. bottle comes out this way. <coughs> now you can take them apart. Two screws on the top, replace the bottle, yada, yada, yada. Not going to go through all of that. Don't really need to. This is quite a stiff bottle. Anyway, back in there. Feels like it locks in nice and tight. Shut the door again. So, like all mods, if you do want to remove, like not all of them, but most of them, if you do want to remove the bottle, you do have to take the bottom off, which means your battery can drop out. But that's what this is for. And pop the top. Oh, she's a bit, you hear that? A bit tight. So one, two, and pop. Yeah, there we go. You feel that spring load. Machining's a little... Once again, block some of the light. Let's see if we can focus. Uh, one day I'll get a decent camera. But yeah, machining's a little bit rough on the top there. You can just sort of make it out there a little bit. But you can't see that. Machine and everywhere else is nice. Screen. Let's get rid of that. Let's get. Oh, let's get rid of it. Mm. Ah. Nice screen. All right. Well, as I said, already cleaned it up. Let's bang a battery in it. Brand spanking new. Never seen a mod. Ready to go. Alright. So let's bang a battery in a. That's the button. Button rattle. Yeah. So it's a little bit, bit loose, bit rattly in the button. All right. Let's fill her up. And today I'm vaping some homemade frosted donut whipped cream and boysenberry. So. Fill this squonk bottle up. Got to have something in there to be able to run it. Well, filling's nice and easy. Very, very easy, actually. See how this is spring loaded. So push down, get the thread. To, oh. oh, I hate that noise. It's like fingernails on a chalkboard. Tell you what though, that's tight as a fucking finger in a bum hole. Alright, one, two, oh, and she comes on straight away. So that's a bonus. Check atomizer. Yeah, that button. 
It's a nice raised button, but it's still a bit, a bit rattly. So anyway, uh, bang the tank on it. Very, very tight on the 510. That's the Bonza on top. Nice little neat combo that. Unintentional too. <laughs> um, yeah, that looks nice and neat. Plenty of clearance. Probably got another mil. Maybe two if you're pushing it. Alright, so what do we got here? It's a 0.4 ohm, 3.5 volts, 30 watts. No, crank that up a little bit. Uh, take that to 70. We'll give that a shot at 70. Alright. 0.4 ohm, 5.2, 5.3 volts at 70 watts. Give it a squat. Let's see how that squawks. I think I'm going to block out some of that light. Ooh. For a stiff bottle, not only it responds really quickly. Look through the gap there and watch that juice. And there she goes. So yeah, she uh, she squonks up nicely. Quite nicely. Very responsive on that bottle actually. So anyway, let's take a hit. Oh, that. This top lip here, holding on to it like that, it just feels a bit almost sharpish. It's got a bit of an edge to it. Sides, not so much, but on the top bit, just... Yeah. It's rather ergonomic in the hand, if you've got a big fucking hand like me. Uh, size comparison, that to the Bassium. And people say the Bassium's a big mod, so... Mm. Look, lifted him up a bit. Yeah sort of see yeah so first off opinions uh, worth it for a hundred bucks yeah worth it for a hundred bucks it'd be a good little beater 10 mils of juice is the other thing so 10 mils of juice all day long, all day long, 21700, 27000, 18650, does not come with an adapter though, so you need to have your own adapter, otherwise you won't be running any friggin anything else, but it is compatible with them. Um, not going to go over chips and everything else, USB point tucked away on the side nicely, nice, neat and tidy. Um, once again, I'm not going to say anything about charging via the USB because I never do, so don't <laughs> highly recommend it anyway don't <laughs> um and yeah thank you very much enjoy and that is the top side and we'll see you next time cheers